Welcome back, West Texas. I'm here now with that full forecast. We've had a relatively nice and cooler day overall. When you got into those lower 100s, the highest temperature getting up to 101 degrees. Everybody else staying in the 90s. A couple people, maybe even the upper 80s as well. But more importantly, look at just how beautiful this sunset is behind me in the live view. We're having those sunsets get pushed further back. So now we can actually see the sun a little bit by the time we get to the nine, which is crazy to see. But right now we're seeing temperatures still in the 90s and 80s. A lot of people cooling down seeing as low as 86 degrees over here in Eastland, 87 in Brownwood, and 80 in Baird and Comanche. But as we get later into tonight, it's going to be another classic above average night. Temperatures staying in the mid 70s for everybody with mostly clear skies. Winds only getting up to 15 miles per hour. But as we get into the rest of this weekend, the high heat, it's just going to keep coming. We'll continue to see these triple digits as we get over the weekend with Saturday and Sunday being particularly dangerous and maybe even record breaking as well for both the Concho Valley and the big country. If you look at our humidity over these next couple of days, our dew points are going to dip a bit for the weekend. Our top dew points, our highs are going to be in the lower 60s, but in reality, most of the day, both the morning and afternoon will be in the 50s over the weekend. So that should pull back on some of that sticky feeling that we're getting through as we get over these next couple of days. But it's Thursday, and if you know, that means we have a new drought monitor that got released, and I'm happy to tell you that conditions are actually improving. All of the categories up to moderate through exception which are D1 through 4, they all decrease by about 2%, which you can actually see partially for us here in West Texas, this area here of the uh, northeastern big country, they've actually decreased down to a D2, this area of extreme and exceptional drought shifting further south, closer towards um, San Antonio and the rest of southern Texas. So things are getting better. The bad news is it just doesn't look like there's a lot of rain in our forecast as we look into the future. So hopefully we'll get a little something that can keep up the good work with lessening those drought conditions. But this is the high pressure ridge that that we're seeing and we're going to continue to see as we get over this weekend. You can see the core of that high pressure ridge sitting south of us in Mexico, right there south of El Paso. But this ridge is just going to extend throughout most of the country as we get further into the weekend. And by Sunday, you can see that high pressure. The core is sitting right over top of us here in Texas. But as we get early into next week, you can see this guy right here. We've got a low pressure trough that could work its way through. This is being very optimistic, but hopefully it could bring a front and maybe even some light rain chances as well. So you see, we got those triple digits, a whole lot of sunshine as well. But as we get to Wednesday and Thursday, we might even drop out of the triple digits. So that's where my hopefulness is coming from. And you've got that 20% there on Thursday. But of course, that's something I'll continue to monitor as the days go by.